Hi everyone, welcome to another week of questions and answers from Ross Answers. My name is Rodrigo and I'm going to answer this question that I found in which this person, logic maker, is trying to publish an array of, vel of velocities in, in, with Python in Ross. So, um, he understands that how to make a publisher and how to publish a message and what he wants to do is to um, publish an array of velocity every uh, certain number of seconds, right? So, so he wants the, these values to be published um, every second or so. So I'm going to show you how to do that, guys. So I'm going to use, um, for this, I'm going to go to the construct sim, um, the construct, which is our platform and show you with the TurtleBot uh, simulation how you can publish this array of velocities. So if you don't have an account you can make one really quick um, and we're going to go to this button here, my Rosject, to create a Rosject and over here on this red button we just click it and we're going to be using Ross Melodic here and we're going to name it um, velocity array publisher and in the description I can just add this link just so people know what I'm referring to and you can make it public or private doesn't matter um, so we go ahead and create it and it, you can see it was it was created right here. So we're gonna hit this run button. And while it's loading, I'm gonna show you our website, which is a great resource for you to learn robotics. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're a beginner or an advanced programmer. You can come here to the construct and learn more than 50 robotics courses. So I recommend you guys take a look and um, you'll learn a lot. Okay, so now we have our Rosject here. And the first thing we're gonna do, we can close this, is to clone the repositories that we need for the simulation. Uh, I always like to show it, my examples in the TurtleBot simulation. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna open up a web shell in this button down here. And we're gonna go into our simulation workspace. And inside our inside our SRC. And um, we're gonna clone these repositories that I'm telling you about. And these are on GitHub. So if you go um, to this address, which is Ro Robot is Git, which is the company that provides this, and the repository is called TurtleBot3. So GitHub and you go and find this repository and we're gonna hit this green button and copy the URL address so we can clone it in our web shell so we go back to our web shell I'm just gonna type git clone and paste that URL and it's gonna be cloned just in a second and we're going to do that same thing with two other repositories that are complementary. The first one is the simulations for TurtleBot 3, which is the same name except underscore simulations right here. We're going to do the same, copy it, and clone it the same way. And last but not least, we're going to do this TurtleBot 3 messages which is right here and do the same, clone it now we have everything we need to test our program so we're gonna go ahead and compile so type cd dot dot and then cat can make
In the meantime, I'm going to start creating a Python program that is going to do what the person asked. It's going to be publishing an array of velocities every second, let's say. So we're going to go here and click on our code editor and the IDE will open. Make it nice and big because I like to work in a big window. And we're just going to create a um, Python file inside our Catkin workspace inside our src that's just the convention and we're gonna we're gonna keep it so you can name it whatever you want we are gonna name it um, publish bell array let's say dot pi so this is gonna be where we put our publishers and everything so we can um, see what a the turtle bot is doing. And we're going to go back here to our web shell and source our environment in order to be able to launch our simulation. So we're just going to type source devil slash setup dot bash. And now we can launch our simulation. I'm just going to launch an empty world. So we're going to hit ROS launch. Oh. I'm sorry, we forgot to use this command, Rust back profile. And now we can launch it. Ross launch turtle bot. Three gazebo is called. And then if you're not sure of the name, you can hit tab. Um, there it is, it's turtlebot empty world launch. So we hit enter. Oh, we need to specify our TurtleBot model. So for that, we just type in export, and then this variable right here, TurtleBot model equals burger. And now we can launch. And to see the simulation, you can see here a message, open gazebo, click in tools, gazebo. And we're going to do that, and it's this button right here, the simulation. So we're going to hit that, and just wait a little bit. And there you go, that's our simulation. You can see it's just an empty world with a turtle bot, which is really useful for tests like this, in case you want to play around with velocities or things like that and you don't have to worry about it crashing or anything so this is a great simulation and right here we're just gonna put our code and test it and launch it and see what it does so I already prepared a and I'm gonna explain it so we're gonna it's just really quick and simple as you can see uh, we're gonna just use Rossby and twist so we're gonna import these libraries and um, we're gonna define our publisher here this is the function that I made and if you're not too sure about how to make a Python publisher I recommend you go through the Python publisher tutorial from Ross it's this one writing a simple publisher and subscriber and if you go through it, it's just a really basic um, explanation how it works. And if you just follow it, you'll get it right away. I pretty much did a version of this, um, so you'll understand it better. But here, as you can see, I create a publisher that's going to be publishing on the command build topic. Then I initialize the ROS node. Um, it's called command bell array publisher and then one of the questions for uh, that uh, this person asked was that how do I here it is how do you know the time set that Ross is using between the values of the array well you can define that in your Python program and a good way to do this 
is to use uh, this Rossby rate um, and set it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to set it to one hertz. So it's going to be repeating once um, every second. So that way you can already set um, the rate at which you want your loop to run at. And as you can see, I used the array that this person um, provided in the example, and I'm just and they named it Command Bell Array, and I made it a little smaller so the turtle bob moves you know, slower, and you can see it better once once it start, starts going. And then I just create a uh, twist object called Bell, and then this is our our loop, which is looking at the length uh, of command bell array at each element each time um, and it's taking that value uh, on each iteration and put it into the twist object we made the velocity and put it into the linear um, x velocity uh, if you only want it to go straight you can just put things in linear dot x and forget about all of the rest I saw that you you put you define this in each one of these. You don't have to do that um, un unless you want to uh, set specific velocities for, for, different, for different directions. So I just do it in the X and I just do a little print that is printing that velocity and then you publish that value uh, and then the rate that I explained earlier you put it at the end of the loop and then that way you make sure that it's gonna run every second uh, and then you just um, you just start it so we're gonna we're gonna try that um, so we're gonna open up a new web shell and the first thing we gotta do is make this file executable so we're gonna go into our location which is cat king workspace slash src and we're going to type in chmod plus x and then the name of the file. This way we have executable permissions. And we're going to source this workspace in order for the file to the Python code to, to run on the simulation. So we're going to hit cd dot dot and then source devil setup bash. So now um, we're ready to launch it and see what it does. So, I'm gonna, so you're going to hopefully be able to see it in this simulation. Uh, so we're just going to go back into our SRC folder and type Python and the name of the file. Just hit enter. And as you can see, it's starting to move uh, and it's going through the velocities that you define in your array every second and as you can see in the simulation it kind of follows that pattern right because it's from 0.01 to 0.09 and it kind of starts speeding up and then once it reaches 0.01 again it slows down again and that's how you do it um, hopefully I answered your question um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'm sorry, next week and for another session of Q&A and I hope you liked it. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.